Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will answer a classic question regarding this departure clearance. Sea line 502, heavy equipped to Brussels, Kennedy 1 departure, Canarsie decline, vectors Betty, then a file, squawk 1736. What is a squawk code and what is it good for? So let's get started. Uh, 1383, runway 27, clear takeoff. This video is sponsored by Audible. Go to www.audible.com slash Captain Joe or click the link in the description box below to get an exclusive 30-day free trial and a book of your choice for free. I would highly recommend the audiobook The Miracle Morning by Hell Elrod. This book will change your life, trust me on that. Now, as you might have watched my previous video about the traffic alert and collision avoidance system, I mentioned the airplane's transponder a couple of times. We're first going to have to look at the transponder in order to cover the topic about the squawk code later in this video. So this is what a mode Sierra transponder looks like of the Airbus A320 family. I'll come back to the different modes in a minute. Now, if you take a closer look at the word transponder, you can see it's made up out of two words describing its purpose. A transponder transmits radio signals and responds to radio signals. So the transponder's primary purpose is to pick up radio waves sent out by the secondary radar antenna and then replies by transmitting radio waves back to the antenna more or less telling the antenna, I'm here. The transmitted signal is then converted into a blip indication or a ping which gets displayed on the ATC controller's radar screen. By the way, the upper rotary antenna you see on most airport towers, that's the secondary radar antenna. All nice to know, you might say, but what's that got to do with the squawk code? <laughs> Now, as you get your IFR departure clearance, the ATC controller will give you a pre-assigned four decimal code. After acknowledging the clearance, you use the little numbered keyboard on your transponder to enter the given code. And depending on your airline or airport procedure, you set the transponder to the auto position, meaning your transponder is set and ready to transmit the code. And that code you've just set is the so-called squawk code. So as you take off and the transponder comes fully active, you turn up on the ATC controller's radar screen, but it won't be just a blip indicating your airplane is in the air. It will also show the four digit squawk code, your current altitude plus your call sign. As you are now under radar control, the ATC controller can also look up your flight plan so he knows where you're flying to, the amount of passengers, crew and fuel you have on board and much more. Now, depending on the airplane's size and manufacture, the transponder can come in different modes. For instance, little Cessnas or smaller aircraft within the general aviation category don't necessarily need a transponder which transmits the airplane's altitude. Therefore, a mode alpha transponder will do the job, meaning it will only transmit the airplane's position and score code. But be aware the places where you can fly without an altitude reporting transponder are becoming less and less. So to be on the safer side, your plane has to have a mode Charlie transponder, which transmits the plane's position and its barometric altitude and score code. Obviously they are a little bit more expensive, but the ATC controllers and other pilots benefit from your investment and adding a TCAS system to it you'll feel a whole lot safer when flying around on weekends where the airspace is packed with weekend warriors. And as just shown before, a mode Sierra transponder, which is above all other transponder modes and can also be used for data link messaging. But again, that's a whole nother video. But please be aware there are many rules and regulations which apply when it comes to having the right transponder for the right airplane depending on its weight, which airspace it's flying in and in country you're flying across. Trust me, it is not that simple. To give you an idea, commercial airliners and private jets, for example, have to be fitted with a mode Sierra transponder in order to comply with RVSM regulations, reduced vertical separation minimum, and to work in cooperation with the TCAS system. Again, another whole video about the RVSM right there. 
Today's airliners very often have a transponder and a TCAS as one unit within the cockpit, which is then interconnected with various computers and systems to display the intruders on the navigation display and to give the respective oral warnings. Now, during your flight training, you're most certainly going to come across this clearance by ATC. So what's all this? Now, let's imagine you have been flying in IFR weather, but the weather has improved and you are ready to cancel your IFR flight plan and you want to continue visually to your destination. Now, after cancelling your IFR flight, the ATC control is letting you know that the radar service is terminated. You are then no longer on his watch and have to navigate by yourself. But he wants you to change your squawk code to VFR. And that's a preset code. Now for all my aviators from the US, that squawk code is 1200. And the equivalent for all my European flyers is 7000. So as soon as you change your transponder dials to the VFR squawk code, you'll still be visible on his radar screen, but you can't expect any service from him as he also said, frequency change approved, meaning you can switch over to flight information service in case you need any help with traffic information or issues like which runway is active at your destination. But there are three preset codes which are known worldwide, which definitely get the ATC controller's attention once you dial them in. And I'll give you a rhyme to memorize them a little easier because these are commonly asked in your theory exams. If your plane gets hijacked by terrorists or people with similar interests, you would squawk 7500. That will cause for numerous alerts down at the ATC office, which will lead to further actions, which I'm not going to mention right here. But the easiest way of memorizing this code is 75 man with a knife. <laughs> the next one, also not very pleasant. In case you have lost all radio communications, the only way of letting the radar controller know you can't hear him to follow his orders, you dial in squawk code 7600. As soon as ATC notifies your squawk code indicating loss of communications, they will inform all third ATC controllers on your route, like the airport tower for instance, who will give you your landing clearance via light signals. No kidding. So to memorize this one, say 76, I need my radio fixed. The third and last of these famous three is 7700 indicating that you have an emergency of some sort, requesting immediate attention and assistance by ATC. So ATC will immediately try to help you by giving you direction towards your nearest airfield and much more. So to memorize this one by saying 77, I'm falling from heaven. I hope you enjoyed this video about the score code. I'll make a follow-up video about all the different switches and buttons on the transponder very soon. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to perform a touch and go at my Instagram account and don't forget to hit the subscribe button plus the notification bell. So I'll see you next week. All the best, your Captain Joe. Please click onto the Audible link in the video description below so you won't miss out this great opportunity on getting an exclusive 30-day free trial with Audible. They are the leading provider of premium spoken audiobooks and other audio products. I've been an Audible user for quite some time now and I am amazed at the huge variety of audiobooks which you can easily download onto your smartphone, iPad or other mobile devices. I use it when I'm on a preceding flight or driving to work and I've recently downloaded this great audiobook about Concorde the rise and fall of the supersonic jet airliner to prepare myself for the upcoming video series about the outstanding airplane. And there is no better way than having someone read out a book for you as you listen and write down some notes. And thanks to Audible, I got this book for free using my 30 day free trial. So make sure to check it out because there's always something new you can read, listen and learn.